Chapel Hill, North Carolina, home of the Tar Heels, made history this week. It is the first community in the country to ban all cell phone use while driving, handheld and hands-free. Officials around the nation are paying close attention to this local decision, which is, as you might imagine, causing quite a stir. National correspondent Chip Reed is in Washington this morning. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Erica and Charlie. You know, they debated this in Chapel Hill for two years, and in the end, it barely passed. And they're hoping it will spread to other cities and towns all across the country. You're looking at the nerve center. Hey, how you doing? Of Dave Cotton's business. Cotton runs his company from his car, responding to fire and water emergencies in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And when a disaster happens, Someone needs us, that phone rings. He calls his cell phone his lifeline, which is why he doesn't like Chapel Hill's decision to ban drivers from using cell phones behind the wheel, even a hands-free device. I respect the, the fact that they've got a ban on, on the cell phone, but not when you get to the situation where you can't even have, you know, use a Bluetooth. The change came Monday night when the town council got just enough votes. All those in favor, raise your right hand. To approve the ban. Beginning in June, drivers caught breaking the new law will be fined $25. Police can only charge drivers when they're stopped for something else first. There is an exception for emergency calls and calls with a spouse, parent, or child. This is a safety and welfare issue for our town. That is why I support this. Chapel Hill's law goes further than any other in the country. No state bans all cell phone use. Nine make it illegal for drivers to use a handheld device. 30 states ban most teens from talking on the phone while driving. Research shows that talking on a hands-free phone while driving can be just as dangerous as talking on a handheld. I really have to salute Chapel Hill for the leadership role that they've taken in this debate. Deborah Herzman really with the National that. Transportation Safety Board led the charge last year when the government agency called for a nationwide ban on all cell phones while driving. We know that you can save lives, you can prevent injuries if you, if you hang up. Just don't tell that to Dave Cotton, who's worried about the government encroaching on his mobile office. And then how far are they going to take it if my GPS is on our cell phones? I mean, is that illegal use? Now, even the federal government is divided on this issue. Yes, the NTSB opposes all cell phone use while driving, but the Secretary of Transportation has said it's okay to use a phone so long as it's not handheld. And Charlie and Erica, as we all know, even among friends and in families, this is a subject of hot debate. Indeed it is. Chip, thank you. You know, it's interesting, Charlie, as we've looked at this issue so many times over the years, there have been multiple studies that have found, in some cases, it's not even the fact of holding it. Yeah. It's the distraction of the conversation. And studies have found that the distraction with another person in the car or even just listening to the radio are equally distracting to that one you're having on a cell phone. So clearly the debate is ongoing. And the distraction is the thing to worry about. Yes. Got it. Focused. <laughs>